In this presentation, I'll be showing you how to use GoalSeq in Excel 2010 to solve the simultaneous equations that you see before you. Ideally, the equations should be in the form of y is equal to mx plus c, where in the case of that second equation, m is equal to minus 2 and c is equal to plus 4. Now what I'm going to do in cell B7 is I am going to type in uh, any number. I'll type in the number 5. 5 is not part of the solution probably, but uh, hopefully after I apply the goal seek method, cell B7 will contain the value of X that is actually part of the solution. In cell C7, I'm going to enter the equation, uh, the formula uh, for the first equation, which is 3 multiplied by x, which is cell B7, minus 11. In cell D7, I'm going to enter the formula for the second equation, minus 2 multiplied by x plus 4. So when x equals 5, this is the value of y from the first equation. When x equals 5, this is the value of y produced by the second equation. If this was the correct value for x, and it, it isn't, but if it was, these two values of y would be the same. In cell E, I'm going to enter the difference between those two values of y. The value of y from the first equation minus the value of y from the second equation. Ideally, the value produced by cell, the value produced in cell E7 should be zero if that was the correct value of x that, that uh, was part of the solution. So anyway, uh, enough of that. I'm going to apply the uh, goal seek method now. I'm going to click on the data ribbon. I'm going to go to uh, what if analysis and click on goal seek. I'm going to set the cell E7 to 0 because the two values of y for the equations really should be the same and their difference should be 0. And I'll achieve that by changing the value in cell B7 which is the value of x. I'll click on OK. I'll click on OK again. So the correct value or the, the correct uh, values produced by goal seek are x equals 3 and y equals minus 2. These are the correct values produced by goal seek.